I'm scared that a monster will suddenly creep up. You know, behind those curtains. Okay, now I'm really scared. Anyways, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to draw the whole Abbott family from A Quiet Place and also A Quiet Place Part 2. Over this holiday, I've seen a lot of films and this is the first horror film I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> basically, the reason I saw the Qu A Quiet Place is because basically my mom loves Emily Blunt. She's always loved Emily Blunt and I've always liked her, but... Since I watched Edge of Tomorrow, which I believe will be my last video about character art, I started being really, really obsessed with her. Like, after I saw Edge of Tomorrow, I rewatched The Devil Wears Prada because I just love Emily Blood so much. And then I watched Jungle Cruise, which I don't really plan to draw. And then I, I, then I plan to watch Mary Poppins. <laughs> I'm kind of in a Emily phase right now and kind of also in a crunt face you know what i mean <laughs> i wanted to draw like this magnificent piece of wallpaper <laughs> yeah literally this is this is now my computer wallpaper this picture basically just summarizes the whole film you know because you know the bridge the bridge is really important to the plot and symbolism of this film and also like Evelyn and Lee, like Emily and John holding hands and walking on this bridge is just everything. But there is a twist. I decided to change this picture a tiny, tiny bit. Instead of only drawing Emily, uh, I'm sorry, instead of only drawing Evelyn and Lee, I want to draw the whole family on that bridge. So I'm going to somehow include all the kids in there as well. See how this will turn out because aside from these two characters, I obviously love the other characters in this film. So yeah, we'll just combine them together. I have my character art paper here and let's just start and let me chat with you. I usually film my character art during daytime, but I film this at nighttime because nighttime kind of sets this really creepy and like mysterious feeling. I'm just kidding. I'd actually just procrastinate during daytime so I didn't film during daytime and I filmed at nighttime so first of all I have to say that A Quiet Place these two films are incredibly scary. Let me first give y'all a premise of this film. This there's no spoilers in this video but I'm just gonna give a little premise of what's going on because this you 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 will know this when you see the film. So basically A Quiet Place is, a, is about it's a really cool concept. It's about a family that is forced to live silently or they die. So if they make a sound a type of creature will come just jumping right at you and because they're very sensitive to like a uh, like sound they obviously can't talk or they can only communicate in sign language so most of the film are actually silent the fact that it's silent and that it, there will be jump scares when you're not ready for it would it's just totally like insanely scary to me let me just draw the structure of the bridge first I watched it with my like parents with my mom and dad all three of us were like so scared of jump scares and like just like this the whole time we decided to watch the film mostly on mute even on mute here is how i watched the film on mute and yeah but let's just talk more about being silent because silent is a crucial factor in this film and i think like silence, like the director, like John Krasinski played the element of silent so good. Like he, like there are some clips I watched with sound. So like, I really like his choice of like, which clips to put on mute. For example, like one of the daughters in the film is deaf. So when the perspective is to her, then it will completely be in her point of view and it will be silent because she is deaf and she can't hear anything and also silence i think silence is a really crucial factor if you want to make a truly scary horror film because silent just genuinely makes people nervous like silent because silence you don't know what's coming you you're it's you're scared of the unknown and for example let's take the scene where like they think a monster is about to come and like everyone's silent if the clip is full of dramatic music like oh what's gonna happen it's just not as effective as if you just put the whole clip silent mm -hmm. 
not only is the sound design really good in this film, I feel like like how how John Krasinski tells the story is really clever because I'm not gonna give any spoilers. I'm not gonna really give any spoilers, so but I'm just gonna explain this. Like the the beginning of this film, I think is really really cleverly done because it opens up with them in a medicine store searching for medicine for a for one of their children and they're really silent no sound no music and then they're on the bridge and like something really really horrifying happens as starting from the beginning we are introduced to how high the stakes are in this film and without even many dialogue and like explanation we just immediately like get what the film is going to be about and like the, the concept and what the family is living under so i think the beginning is also really cool like the exposition like sets the stakes of the film ladies and gentlemen and then joe started adjusting her phone angles and started singing the song wild mountain time in a irish accent so enjoy that will you go last go and we'll all go together I really, really love Crunch. Like, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about them. Okay, now let's talk about some of the characters in this film. We're actually gonna talk about Regan, one of my favorite characters. I actually love all the characters in this film because obviously there are not many characters but i just really really like regan in this film like their oldest daughter because i feel like she's one of the bravest characters i've ever seen i'm not gonna spoil but basically in the second film she is the hero of the story <laughs> i also really like of course i really like the father i really like john krasinski's character he just protects every single one of them just so caring and so brave as well and now let's talk about marcus i think marcus re is really cute and he is really brave but sometimes like marcus like sometimes makes some decisions that i don't know why he makes them guys i don't know why i didn't mention it but i also really really love um evelyn the mother Emily's character in this film because I think of course she's just so strong and she cares about her children so much so I really really love Emily too. Sometimes the sequel just isn't as good as the original one, but I think The Quiet Place Part 1 and Part 2 are both like equally good. I think both of them are so good because the first one is just kind of like really scary and like, you know, the birth scene is iconic and like shows the stakes and how a like, nervous situation. But the second film is really like fighting in this situation, like physical stuff, you know? So I think both films are really, really good. So, now I finished talking about the family, let's talk about some questions I have because, I mean, there are certainly plot holes in the film, but I just found one particular thing really confusing. So, basically, in in the second film, at the end, at, like, close to the end, Regan, like, they went on this island that is safe from, from the monsters, and, and they have to, like, do something. They finally go to the island and I'm just expecting them to be like, oh my god, hurry, you go to get this thing, you get, you save this person, like, but like, they just kind of like start to chat and like rest on the island. And I'm just like, come on, what are you doing? You have a family to save. Am I missing something? And also, I mentioned briefly about like the um, iconic bathtub scene <laughs> in the first film, but to be honest, like, uh, I didn't really watch that scene because I was scared. Mom 
I've seen in a lot of interviews, like the John Krasinski interviews, like he said in a lot of interviews that this this film isn't just about horror. The main central symbol in this film is family. And we can see that all throughout the film. Like we can clearly see like how important family is in that film and how like the family sticks together and just face this situation together. So I finished most part of this artwork. Final thing I'm gonna talk about, one crucial question. Will I survive? If I was <laughs> if I was put in this situation, will I survive? I don't think I will. I think it's because I'll just like be scared to death. I will just be thinking about this thing 24 seven, you know? And maybe because their family is so great, like the kids can actually be distracted from the stakes and like play and live their normal life sometimes. But if I was thrown in this situation, I cannot live my normal life for one second. And I, and I do like to sing. So I just can't be quiet, I feel like. And I like to chat. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Shh.